Pochettino needs to be sacked tonight. Merry Christmas, you Tottenham lemon. Here's your P45, you're sacked. Clear your desk out immediately. You aren't welcome at Chelsea. And to be frank, you never were. Chelsea are now level on points with Bournemouth. And Bournemouth have a game in hand on us. Nobody in the Premier League has lost more games than Chelsea in 2023. This is now gone beyond a crisis. It's now a calamity. We are actually a punchline. We are totally all over the place. And this season, under Pochettino, we have lost more games than we have won. We are woeful. We are so beatable. Nobody is fearful of us. And when you look at the sum of the parts, the players are better than 10th in the league. I'm not a huge fan of this approach. I believe that there is a massive conversation to be had with the ownership. I would go so far as to say that Todd Bowley is the worst thing that has ever happened to Chelsea Football Club. But there are some talented footballers at the club and Pochettino cannot get a tune out of them. We should not be being beaten at Molyneux. We should have a record that we can be proud of. We should be competing for top four, but we are lacking in absolutely everything. We are lacking in any semblance of heart, any semblance of desire, any semblance of passion, any semblance of structure. Like, what formation do we play under Pochettino? What is his team selection about nothing makes sense. Why does he persist constantly playing players out of position? He is not a very good manager. I'm convinced that he is not a good manager. People will always talk about how well he did at Tottenham. They didn't do well. They didn't do well. They massively underachieved. Apparently, they were the best team over two years and they won nothing. He then went to Paris Saint-Germain and he watched Yilmaz win the league. You look at the embarrassment of riches he would have had at Paris Saint-Germain and he didn't win the league that year. Lille won it. He is not the man that people think he is. What we need is someone who is elite, non-negotiably elite. Now, before we get into it, I need to let you know that I have partnered with NordVPN on this video. Trust me, everybody needs a bit of VPN action in their life. It has elevated my life beyond recognition. You know, the 3 p.m. blackout, it doesn't apply to you. If you simply sign up with NordVPN. That's right. It allows you to watch goals from all over the world. It allows you to watch goals from the Premier League. It allows you to watch matches that perhaps you shouldn't see. You know, when you go on Twitter, sometimes it will tell you that this goal will not be served in your location. Not anymore. All thanks to NordVPN. And guess what? It is so affordable. It is comparable to the price of a cup of coffee. And one login will allow you to partner with six different devices. So, you can share it out between your mates. You can have it on your various different devices. NordVPN is the VPN action that you need in your life. Trust me. Also, not that you would, but let's pretend for a moment that you were doubting what I'm saying here. There's no risk attached. It is completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you try it out and for one reason or another decide that it isn't for you, you get your money back. No risk at all. Literally no jeopardy. And there is more good news. There is even a discount if you use my sign-up code. All you have to do is head over to nordvpn.com forward slash Rory. The link is, of course, in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. And they are few and far between. And Mauricio Pochettino is nowhere near that. Mauricio Pochettino, nowhere near the top five, top six, top seven managers in the league. We need somebody who is the best. At Chelsea, we need somebody who is the best. Because at the moment, we are... Just so shoddy. You know, we have no real heart in the team. And when you think about the players, I don't think anybody really cares. You know, when you think about how Wolves approach the game today, you look at the hunger from them. You look at the desire from them. I was jealous of Wolves fans watching their team play. Genuinely. You know, you look at the heart on display from them. You look at Dawson getting himself injured to do everything that he can, put his body on the line to make sure that Raheem Sterling doesn't score. In fact, if you use that moment, it's a fantastic microcosm to use to demonstrate quite how applied the Wolves players were, quite how keen they were, quite how desperate they were to do their best for the badge on the shirt and the fans in the stand and around the world. And you compare it to Chelsea. At, in that moment, Sterling goes through. It's a very well-worked move from Chelsea. Sterling goes through and he shoots. Dawson blocks it. Lamina blocks it. Jose Sarr was going to block it. And I'm sure there was a fourth Wolves, Wolves player there, desperate to make sure that the ball doesn't go in the back of the net. Every single one of those men that I just mentioned, putting their neck, body on the line to make sure that Wolverhampton Wanderers do not concede. And that is in part due to the brilliance of Gary O'Neill. Not one Chelsea player applies themselves like that. Not one. Not one player is fighting for, for the badge. Not one player really is fighting for Pochettino because Pochettino doesn't have the ability to get players to do that at Chelsea. 
He doesn't particularly love Chelsea. He doesn't particularly want to be at Chelsea. Do you know I know that? Because he had the impertinence to tell us that he wants to be the Tottenham manager. But pretty much on the eve of us playing Tottenham, he said he likes the idea of going back to Tottenham. Do you know what, mate? Go back. Go back. It was a mistake to ever employ you. How can he have the audacity to tell Chelsea fans that he wants to, to go back to Tottenham? It is totally and utterly unacceptable. And when you think about the way that Wolves players fought today, compare it, compare it to Chelsea players. You know, who wanted it more? Uga Chukwu or Lamina? There's only one answer, isn't there? You know, who wanted it more, Dawson or Nicholas Jackson? Again, there is only one answer there. Who wanted it more, Gary O'Neill or Mauricio Pochettino? And again, there is only one answer there. And do you know what? I don't think Pochettino could care less. He really doesn't care. He is getting so much wrong. Like, players out of position all the time. Levi Colwell is not a left back. He cannot play there. He isn't a very good left back. So come up with another solution. Manage the situation and find an answer. But Levi Colwell at left back is not the answer. I'll tell you what else is ridiculous. Team selection. Mikhailo Mudrik arguably had his best contribution to Chelsea in the week. He scores a goal that helps take Chelsea through to our only hope of winning any silverware. We knock Newcastle out of a cup competition. Bearing in mind what Newcastle did to us very recently at St. James's Park. It was a big moment, a big moment for, for Mudrik. He's repaid by contributing to that, keeping Chelsea in the game, scoring the goal with a place on the bench. Meritocracy, he's earned a place in the team. Start him. He obviously deserves to start today. Instead, Nicholas Jackson played behind Amado Broja. How does that make any sense? It's idiotic. It doesn't work. And it didn't work. And it did Wolverhampton Wanderers a massive, massive favour. And I just cannot understand why Mauricio Pochettino isn't being discussed more. Why are people with massive platforms? I'm talking about broadsheet newspapers, newspapers that I read. Why is he not on the back page? I'm sure when Graham Potter was getting it wrong, Everybody was demanding his head. I'm sure when Frank Lampard was getting it wrong, everybody was demanding his head. But because it's Pochettino, for some reason, nobody is really exploring it. And just look at how bad we are. You know, we have won three out of nine home games all season. We've won three games at home out of nine. Bearing in mind that you only play 18. Out of the half, half the home games that we will play this season, we've won three. <laughs> it's actually laughable. And that's not even the worst part of it. Do you want to know the teams that we've beaten? It's not like we've got big points against Liverpool and whatever else. The three teams that we've beaten, we've beaten Luton, who at the time everybody was saying we're going to go down with record low points. We've beaten Sheffield United, who possibly are still going to go down. Um, and we've also beaten Brighton. So they're the three teams that we've beaten. Well done, Pochettino. You've done really well there. Pochettino has then had the audacity to come out and say that he needs new players. What do you need in, in, the, in January? New players, more money, more money spent. What about you, Pochettino, take some responsibility? What about you, Pochettino? Elevate the players. Manage the players that you have. And coach the players that you have to be better. Surely, that is what the job and role and responsibility of the manager should be. But I, I've had it. I want him out. I really do. I don't like him. I really want him out of Chelsea. He doesn't belong at Chelsea. He belongs in the away dressing room, crying with Danny Rose as Tottenham blow the... Tra the Premier League title. That is where he belongs. He is far too Tottenham for my liking. And look, I know I'm tribal. I did do my best. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. But ultimately, he... Ultimately, he's not a Chelsea person. He's not a Chelsea man. And he doesn't belong at Chelsea. You know, he has signed 12 new players at the club. He has, he, he has spent 400 million quid. And yet he needs more players. None of those players has improved. Literally not one Chelsea player has improved since being coached by Maurizio Pochettino. You know, and then he's come out recently. He's called us a mid-table team. Who do you think you are? You're a distinctly average manager who has absolutely no place at Chelsea Football Club. And I think the sooner we sack him, the better. As I said at the beginning of this video, Merry Christmas, mate. Your Tottenham lemon, your P45. Go and clear your desk out. That's what needs to happen. Sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. And don't get me wrong. There's a lot wrong with the club. But Pochettino is the public face and he needs to be improved immediately. The sooner we get him out, the sooner we get these owners out, the better. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Merry Christmas, I guess. <sighs>